Let's say we're asked to factor the following expressions, 10ab plus 15b plus 4a plus 6 being the first of them. We begin by grouping this problem into two separate groups of two terms, the first two terms being in group 1 and the second two terms being in group 2. We factor out the GCF of the first group and then factor out the GCF of the second group. To start with this, we see that 10ab and 15b have a GCF of 5b. 5b is the largest common factor that goes both into 10ab and 15b. So we factor it out as the GCF, and then we immediately open parentheses. And how do we know what goes inside parentheses? We divide each term that we factored the GCF from by the GCF. So 10ab divided by 5b will give us 2a, and then 15b divided by 5b will give us just the 3. Now we turn our attention to the second group, 4a plus 6. Both of those terms have a GCF of 2, so we factor out a plus 2. The sign is vital. You have to place the sign there in front of the 2. If you don't place this positive sign here or a plus sign here, you're saying that this 2 is getting multiplied by this entire expression, which is incorrect. So placing this sign here is mandatory. It is a must. But once we've identified that this 2 is the GCF, we divide both of these terms by the GCF and place the answer inside parentheses. So 4a divided by 2 gives us 2a. Similarly, 6 divided by 2 gives us 3. Now, as we've seen in the previous video, when we have this giant term and this second giant term, both of those have a 2a plus 3 in common. So as we did before, we can factor it out. And when we do, and we divide the first term by 2a plus 3, we're going to be left behind with just the 5b. And then when we divide the second term by 2a plus 3, we're going to be left behind with just the plus 2. And that's it. Question's over. We can do the same thing with this next problem, 6x squared plus 9x minus 14x minus 9x, I'm sorry, 6x squared plus 9xy minus 14x minus 21y. We're solving this by grouping again. So we group the first two terms together, 6x squared plus 9xy, and we group the last two terms together, negative 14x minus 21y. For the first two terms, we recognize a GCF of 3x, so we factor that out. And what we're left behind with after we divide the terms by the GCF is 2x plus 3y. 6x squared divided by 3x is 2x. 9xy divided by 3x is 3y. Now from these two terms, we see that 14 and 21 both have a 7 in common as a factor. So I can factor out a 7. How do I know what goes inside the parentheses? I can divide each term by the 7. So if I divide negative 14x by 7, I get negative 2x. And similarly, when I divide negative 21y by 7, I get negative 3y. Now at this stage, we've run into a dead end because the binomials don't match. In order for us to go ahead with the next step of the problem, these two terms that are inside the parentheses have to match. And if they don't, I cannot factor them out as the GCF. So in this case, 2x plus 3y is not the same as negative 2x minus 3y. These two are completely different expressions. However, they're off by signs. Here we see that both of these are positive. Here we see both of these are negative. If the signs are the only point of distinction, instead of factoring out a positive 7, we can try to factor out a negative 7 and see if that fixes things. So if we factor out a negative 7, negative 14x divided by negative 7 will give us a positive 2x. And negative 21y divided by negative 7 will give us a positive 3y. Two negatives divided by each other give a positive. Now that the binomials match, we can factor out the 2x plus 3y from both these terms. So if we do that, the 2x plus 3y is our GCF, 
And then how do we know what goes inside the parentheses? Well, when we divide the first term by 2x plus 3y, we're going to get 3x. And then when we divide the second term by 2x plus 3y, we're going to get a negative 7. So 3x first, and then a minus 7. And that's it.